What well, we love a dub dub motherfuckers. What is going on everyone in design? Everyone's favorite jack of all trades. With the fire on mouth. Common Urban. And welcome back to another awesome fucking video guys. I greatly, greatly do fucking appreciate it. I really do. And before I begin, there are a couple things I want to say. I want to give a big shout out to all of you guys, my viewers and my subscribers for sticking around watching this shit. The reason why I fucking do it for you guys, so yo yo. And two, you guys might notice, here lately, my comments have been turned off on several of my videos. Well, that's not me doing it, guys. That is fucking YouTube doing that shit. So, I know YouTube's being a bunch of cunts again and turning my comments off of my videos. So, it's not me. So, I know I'm dealing with these bastards again. So, YouTube is a bunch of cunts. Anyway, welcome to part 26 of my build of the DKM Bismarck by Revell in 1 350th scale with upgrade set by Pontos. As you can see there is the hull of the battleship. And um, yeah, today we're going to be looking at the forward superstructure. Not really the main part of it, but the aft section here with all these little fucking um, boat racks and shit. As we, I will show you guys in the instructions what you have to do to do it. We will look at it using the book, the Battleship Bismarck, and I'll explain to you guys the torture and the tedious shit that I had to do to go through this crap. And, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, so anyway. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and bust into the Pontos instructions. I'll just do it down this way. As you can see, there is the forward piece, and of course, there's a lot of shit you gotta remove. A lot of shit, and of course, all that shit right there. You have to fucking remove that. And the reason why is because, well, it's not, it's not correct. None of that shit is correct. So, next thing on down is right, you know, fucking shadows. Here we go. See? There's all of that crap. Tons and tons and tons of parts. And it's blowing the wind like a fucking flag. So, there we go. Yeah, son of a bitch, fucking shit blowing around. There. Fuck that flop. Fuck that shit. Anyway, there is the. There's all them parts put together, and finally, shows you what it looks like there. And there it all is. Also, by the way, I've also did some work on that thing, too, on that. But um, I'll have to show you that in the next part because I already got that done and dealt with with some primer. Yes, I got some primer for this bitch. And I've already started primer and shit, so I'll have to show you that shit in the next part. But as you can see here, look at all those tiny-ass pieces. And you have to build all this shit up. All to this. And so, with enough patience and enough fucking hair pulling out of your head, you will be able to build... Well, let me find that section first. I think it might be forward. Yeah, because right here, because it's... That area that we're dealing with is actually part of the funnel complex anyway. Here is what you'll be fucking dealing with right here. All those racks and ladders and catwalks yeah. and other shit. It's absolutely fucking insane. Anyway, these motherfuckers were a nightmare and I'll explain why to you. The ones that go on the outsides here, 
Those son of a bitches were five pieces each. Literally. Five fucking pieces each. You had this cross frame thing here. The three braces and of course this cat block. I found that the fat, the best way of fucking doing it is to build, make your center bracket first, put your fucking brace in the center first, and then put the other two on the ends, and then put this little bits on the ends here and here, and then finally glue those on. Once it's fucking on the side, you fucking take your catwalk, glue it on, and you bend your fucking railing upwards to where it looks like that. I can tell you right now, that shit is an absolute tedious bitch. As you can see, look at all those parts, look at that, see? Like I said, you have to bend that fucking, uh, fucking support frame thing out to where it touches the three things and of course the sides of the two. As you can see, right there, and fucking right there. It was an absolute nightmare. And those littler ones, now the little ones, like the 312, all you have to do is fucking fold those in half and fucking put them on the center. Literally. Right there. Yeah, let me get my fat ass shadow out of the way. Yeah. There we go. There. And there. If I can get a fucking... There we go, better, see? Those are fine. Now the other ones are a bitch where these ones right here, the ones with the catwalks up there. Those motherfuckers were literally uh, about seven pieces. Because there was two pieces there. You had the actual brace and the side bit. And then those had to slide together like so. And you put those fuckers up there in their place. Then you laid the catwalk on the top. Now that long catwalk was just one on the top of the roof. That was fucking easy like so just like that anyway and of course these shit down here these other little catwalks and ladders and shit and those vents those are fucking a nightmare and those ladders oh oh motherfucker and you can see down there all that shit has all that shit has been fucking done and it was an absolute nightmare. Those little catwalk things right there and right there. Absolutely a fucking nightmare. The ladders, not so much. And those little vents, they weren't too bad. There's four of them total. There's two there and two there. And that little, uh, little uh, ladder thing that's inside the catwalk, you have to glue that on first. Then put that little catwalk assembly thing on it. It's two pieces. Yes, two fucking pieces. As you can see, you have to fold that motherfucker up, put that over, like so. And take that motherfucker, flip that up, flip them over, like so. And then combine that son of a bitch there, to there. Which you can see it right there. And that motherfucker drops right there where the fucking little ladder thing goes right there. As you can see, it was a bitch. I mean, this was an absolute bitch. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to tell you. This side over there is not a full brace. It doesn't go all the way down the side. That's actually the way it was in real life. It only stopped about there because it sat on top of a, a vent. As you can see, those three legs are fucking... Uh, there, there we go. As you can see there how it sits like that. Well, you can see from this, yeah, fuck, getting fucking focus, fucking focus, there, now do you see how I said it doesn't come all the way fucking down, it don't, it touches on the top of that bit on the side of the fucking structure just like so, and of course, if you can see here, this is roughly around the time when this structure would have been around. So you can see the cat. Oh, there, fuck. You can see the fucking cat walk details and shit that are on the roof. See, there's the cleared 
roof and it's literally all the same fucking color as dark besides the tops where the fucking boat sit on is fucking wood so right there see there's a much better view of that area of the ship I think honestly see that's how the boats are set in fucking place oh fuck there just like that basically the funnel will be right in that area and that's what that's supposed to be and there are the doors so yeah all together all together I started on this a couple days ago and all year I got about six hours into work on this area fucking alone four hours on the first day and two on the second and the thing that really pissed me off the most Honestly, with these two side uh, boat racks that go on the outside, I thought these little ones here were a nightmare, were a bitch. I thought those were a nightmare there. But that catwalk with the ones on the outside, right there, and fucking right there, are absolutely fucking horrendous. So, there you go. That's what the fuck I've been working on right there. And like I said, I literally had an absolute fucking nightmare. I was pulling my hair out. I even threw a lot more fucking curse words and shit when I was doing that. So, yeah. So there you have it, guys. That is what I've been doing. So for the next video, the next fucking part, we will be talking about primering and starting to primer the major sections of the ship. And the hull probably will not be primered yet because... I gotta get some drill bits to drill some things and some other shit, but I'm gonna start primering shit. Getting stuff done and getting closer to where we can actually get the paint and start painting her and getting her to look more fucking realistic, which she should be. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the fucking video. If you have any questions or comments about any of this shit, leave them in the comments section below and I'll get back with you. If YouTube doesn't turn the fucking comments off on me, fucking bastards. Um, so yeah. And um, if you're new to the channel like the shit I do, Hit that fucking subscribe button, hit that damn notification bell, never miss another video ever again, and become a member of the Commodore's crew. So until next time, this is Commodore Irwin. <clears throat> Saying have smooth seas and clear skies, happy sailing with all of you. God bless you all, Jesus and God both love you very much. Catch you on a warm trade wind where hell anyone knows. And let's go Brandon, fuck Joe Biden, so yeah.